remember me? <laughs> Who am I kidding? Of course you don't remember me. It's been years since we last saw each other, or at least when you last saw me. So, to refresh your memory, I'm the guy that sat next to you in English class. I dumped my stuff on a random table, and suddenly you sat down next to me. I probably turned as red as a tomato at that point. Uh, when Mrs. Jones said these would be our permanent seats for the rest of the year, I almost screamed of joy, but kept it in me. You were, and still are, gorgeous. You had a great personality. You were the one I wanted to spend my life with. You hardly talked to me, and I didn't have the courage to talk to you. You might remember asking me for a pencil, and seeing me glow red and being unable to speak English. <laughs> Good times. My friends used to tease me about you. And although I denied loving you, that only brought me closer to you. And I became a stalker. I used to watch you, everywhere you went on school. And that's when I noticed it. Or rather, him. It was a nice Thursday evening when it happened. I had been sent out of the class by my chemistry teacher, Mr. Rogers, if I'm correct, for being absent-minded, and I had to sit at a table in the hallway to make some stupid worksheet. I had just begun when you came walking by. I turned around to look at you when something caught my eye. In the corner of the glass door of an empty classroom was a figure. It was a malt figure wearing a black ACDC shirt, blue trousers, and bright white shoes. He looked about two or three years older than us, but every girl in our year would have called him handsome. He was just standing there, looking at you. You didn't notice and kept on talking with your friends. But I did. For the next few months, I saw him everywhere you went. He always wore the same clothes, and he always had the same look on his face. It wasn't love on his face. It was something else. Lust. Like he wanted you. Not for love, but for, well, something else. The next school year brought with it a tragedy. A girl who lived a few houses away from me had been murdered by a stalker. The police had failed to arrest him in time, and that was a fatal error. The stalker was never arrested and all schools in the area taught kids about stalkers and how to prevent the stalking going too far. During this period, I became self-aware and stopped stalking you. But something was off. It was the story, coupled with the fact that you had a real stalker that got me worried. Years went by without anything weird happening. And on the last day of school, I wrote you an anonymous love letter. You just laughed it off, and that broke my heart. But I figured that you were laughing because it was anonymous. I'd see you on my way to work sometimes, falling more in love with you every time you rode your bike past my old Sentra. So why am I writing this? Well, I thought it would be a good idea to give you a love letter at your doorstep. I parked my car on the other side of the street, and started writing, when I noticed something. It was the same guy as on school many years ago, wearing the same ACDC t-shirt and the look of lust on his face. He walked very slowly to your door. He stopped at your front door and didn't do anything. Suddenly I saw your front door moving like he was trying to get in. The weird thing was that your door didn't make any noise. I've already called the police, but I'm scared it's too late, so... 
If you're reading this, get as far from your house as you can, because I don't want you to get hurt. I really hope you make it, and I hope to see you later. Bye.